Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Ashley's Treasure, and I got a new coloring book to share with you. I am a huge fan of Kirby Rosane's coloring books um, from the beginning and way back in the days. Um, I remember seeing his work on DeviantArt and I used to follow that sometimes too. And so it's really awesome seeing throughout the years him making his own books and everything. And um, yeah, I've always really loved his work. But um, I got one of his new coloring books and I didn't realize it, but last year I meant to share some of his his last latest one, uh, which is Worlds Within Worlds, and I never did. And um, so I want to share that with you first and then the new one that I just got um, first. As you can see, these are all the ones I got so far. I got all but one of them so far. Um, his very first one is the Anamorphia one. I actually got this one at a zoo, hard to believe. But um, if you never heard of his work before, um, he always does like realistic but cartoon in one. He does a lot of these little doodles. He has his own little characters as you can see. And this was his first one, Anamorphia. And I love this one. And you can see he's got all his own little characters in it. But he used to have like parts where you doodle yourself. But there's always hidden objects in here as well. And at the end, It'll show where all the hidden things are and what the picture was of. And they were also double paged and some of them were two page layouts. Um, but yeah, I always loved those. And then Imagimorphia, this is like one of my favorite ones. Um, I've done some work in here. This is a very popular one. This one I did. I love this one. I like the colors I chose. And then I was doing um, this one and the pages actually came out because I was trying to get in there to get all the, you know, the center pieces and it ended up started coming out. But I did like three shades of blue and then some pink and purple. Ended up not really going the way I wanted, and I haven't really colored it since then, but I do need to finish it though. But and you can see how the similar between um his drawings, like this is like the front and the back, so these ones you always get to color. And he has a black with like uh like neon color, you know, and there's like only like so much in it that is colored with that same color. You know, this one has the eye, this one has the owl in the eye. That one's orange, this one's green. And then since I had those two, and since I'm such a big fan of his, I thought I might as well get Mythomorphia. I'm not huge into Mythomorphia things, but um, I ended up getting it to add to my collection. I haven't colored anything in here yet, but um, there's definitely ones that I would want to get because, you know, I like ocean things. So this would be a really cool one to, you know, color because it's got like the seahorse and this like lion sea creature. There's a lot of sea creatures in here and this one's so cute like look at him riding the snail and this little like chipmunk or squirrel and the mushrooms and this tree one and these unicorns or pegasus sorry dragons so there's some really cool things in here that i would color eventually someday and i just love going through these pages and looking at them like this one i love this one this turtle one so it's definitely worth getting this underwater scene and there's like mermaids and whales a lot going on like this one i doubted that i'll ever color that one the wolverine but there's really cool ones this is like a water dragon and a fire dragon and see here's a card so that's one of the hidden things in here that you got to find so it's fun they all say in here in the um, extreme coloring and search challenge That one's a really popular one. I've been kind of like hoarding. I want to do that one so bad, but like hoarding it because I want to do it like just right. But yeah, that was definitely one worth getting. I love this mermaid and merman. 
and there's the um, dragon in the cover so you get the two page layout and then those are the hidden objects and then the answer where they are hidden which you can also test colors on so here's the two his two first ones this was his third one and then um, something happened um, he started downsizing as you can see each time if it's focusing each time his books kept on getting you know was this size then thicker and thicker and then it seriously downsized and people weren't that happy about it but they were cheaper and he did this one geomorphia and then phantomorphia with a wolf on it um the person that he was or the company that he was with um made him do what they want to do instead of him doing what he wants to do and they changed it where it was only one page and that a lot of people complained about that because you know you always get the cover which is going to be like a two page but inside if i can find it it's only one it's only one page and there's nothing in the back there's no two page layouts which is what are really popular with his work and a lot of people didn't like that and so um and also the company made him do, draw what they wanted him to draw in the Phantomorphia one and that a lot of people didn't like because it wasn't him you know it wasn't his work you know it didn't have his passion into it as much as his other ones but I still do like this one. I haven't got the Phantomorphia one because I keep on him going back and forth about getting it. But I might as well someday because I already got all the other ones. But it was definitely still worth getting. Like, look how awesome that is. But it didn't have the... Um, I think it was the other one that didn't have as much of his characters and stuff. But that one's really pretty. But see how short that is? There's not much. It's one-sided. There's the Phantomorphia one. And he said that was going to be his last one because of that. Because he didn't like the directions they were forcing him to go. But luckily he did uh, Color Morphia, which has a little bit of all of his coloring books in one. And so I definitely got this one. At the beginning, it shows art that uh, people did coloring his work. And it'll say um, their names in it. See, this is somebody's, oh, um, somebody's coloring that they did on it. And here it shows who colored it. And they wrote a little bit about it. This one was in Phantomorphia. A lot of people had that hard time coloring this one because of how dark it was. Here's the swans. But yeah, it shows how some people colored his work and then it has some like recaps of some of his work from all of his books. And this one's Phantomorphia, so it's kind of awesome that I was able to get this one, you know, so I can still color this one that I don't have. And then some of them that I really like, I get to color again, which is awesome. Like this is a one I really love. You got the tiger again. That one's from Mythomorphia. Anamorphia. Imagimorphia. That one's really... Because I remember um, some of them, the first ones, they the printing was off. So you had to be careful which one you got, but at least they fixed that on this one. And I do like, because he does this all in pens, you know, and I like how he does his shading because it helps with the color knowing where the light is. It makes it a lot easier. I get to do that one again. And this one, because, you know, how they were complaining how they didn't have the front and back. And one of his last one was the Phantomorphia one. Um, this one, you know, he explained in here and they he was able to add the whole drawing in there. So a lot of people liked that, that they were finally able to draw, color the whole thing. It's an underwater scene again. I love this one. Jellyfish with flowers in it.
Oop, there's my beetle again. So I can color that one again. So it's definitely, definitely worth getting. I always love his work. And then, um, luckily, he completely changed things. Um, I think he went with a different company, as you can see. This um, he did last year is called Worlds Within Worlds. He um, did a different company, and the covers are different, as you can see, compared to his, you know, old ones. How it was like this. There's a lot more color in it, and um, they're not like Morphia ones, you know. But um, what he did different with this one is that he only did one hidden object. And that hidden object shows what the next page is going to be about. And it didn't have as much um, cartoony, you know, as you know, this. it had a lot more realism, which I don't mind. I actually like realism. I like the direction that he was going. Like, I still love his old work, but I really, I'm really loving his new work. And then this is like a full page, you know, the book name, where you put your book name. Or put where you put your name on the book and then the description of it discover new realism in this coloring adventure step into my high definition super detailed world where enchanting realms and entire universes are transported to strange and wonderful new habitats each intricate illustration has been crafted with fine liner pens and can be colored in any way you like. Look out for the magic key in every scene with beside a clue that will unlock the next world. You can find all the answers at the back of the book. This is like a, he went from like woodland theme and then there's like all underwater theme here. I love using this to like test colors with. And then here it starts off with a stegosaurus and then inside there's a hidden clue, which here I'm gonna give it away, is a moon. And see there's like a little like key inside of it. Can you see that? So that means the next page is going to be a moon. Like he still has some of his, you know, creative creature kind of his own way but it's more realistic less cartoony but here the spikes on the stegosaurus is houses and see the next picture is a moon and so you can see the next page is a turtle so there's going to be a turtle in there somewhere hidden so it's kind of he still has this fun game to it and here's like a skull and then there's a sailboat and then you can see the underwater is so awesome and then a whole new world inside of a tree. This one's like a meteorite falling, but it's like an ocean monster. <laughs> meteorite falling. And then these dragon, or sea dragon, through the buildings. This one, I've seen people do this one, and it's just, oh, I don't want to color that one so bad. I always want to do too many things at once. And then this is like a dragon and like viewing inside of his eye like what he sees, the dragon sees. A book, all this different world. And then this one's really cool. This is like underwater and then underneath it. So it makes me think of Atlantis. <laughs> like the hidden world. I love these little globe an octopus and it's got little like huts little houses and little like jellyfish or squid a compass and then a library with like waterfall you can see it's even got a little boat um, this one's really cool. It has a camel, a double humped camel, and the humps are volcanoes. And it's got underwater creatures too. 
and then it's got two hands one's holding a cave and then it's like growing onto the hand and then this one's like a jungle and then you see the waterfalls like dripping off like the hands holding it like the jungle is in our hands and then this is like a whole you know like um kind of reminds me of garden of the galaxy you know how they have like all those flying things and stuff that's what kind of reminds me kind of looks like their world and this one's really cool a uh, blowing bubbles and then like there's whole different worlds inside of each bubble and then this is the same one as on the cover which is really cool a monkey and then there's also the hairless cat and it's like Egyptian theme. It's got like the pyramids and everything. And then an apple. And then it's like um, bitten, like eaten. And then there's like apple trees growing inside of it. And this looks like a type of um, anteater, but like a hedgehog of some sort. And this one's a crown, and it's got um, boats inside, sailing inside of it. And same as the other crown. It's like kings and queens. And then a dragon. It reminds me of Great Wall of China almost. And then, I love this. Underwater scene. It's got two of them. And then mushrooms. And then this looks like they're in like an antique store. And this um, leopard seal and these penguins are living inside of this. This one's really awesome. But I love this because it's got all different windmills inside of these. To go with the plants. There's like a little house here. And this one's really funny, kind of, because it's a little dollhouse. And then um, inside, like, each room, it has all these, like, fantasy creatures, you know, are from his old ones, his um, Mythomorphia. Like, it's got, like, the unicorn, you know, it's got fairies, it's got those little trolls again. So, it's really cute. And then, this one's really cool. It's bees with, like, sailboats on top of their back. And there's like a little um, like pirate, you know, sailing away. And then this one's really pretty. Um, it's a circus blooming inside of a flower and butterflies flying around it. A fun fair. Or a fairground, sorry. A fairground, not a circus. And then ants carrying um, buildings. And then some fishies. And there's like people sailing, or sailing, or not sailing, surfing <laughs> in the waves. So it like the tails of the fish blend in with the waves of the water. And then um, the rabbits, like their doors start in the ears and they go down and they got little burrows inside of the rabbits. You know, like how rabbits live underground in burrows. Well, it's like they have their own home inside of them. And there's like a little girl in all the different rooms. And then I love this one, the sloth with the buildings hanging off from them, like growing off. I thought that was so cool. Love that one. And this one too, the like hermit crab. And it's got his own world on top of his shell. There's like even a little teepee there. There's even a tire swing hanging off of that. Like, how adorable is that? And then um, there's whales. And I like these little ones that are like, is like growing inside of it. And when they bloom, they like burst out. These lily pads. And there's even a little froggy. And snail. And then this one's kind of got that Egyptian thing again, but inside of here, they got like farmlands, which is interesting. And then this snake, which is like a train, which goes 
It reminds me of the metro station. And then this is an astronaut in outer space, and then his helmet reflects like a whole new world. And there's the llamas on top of it. For the Aztec. And then here's like, it looks like elks. Deers or elks? The horns are kind of big, so it looks more like an elk to me. And then they got like their own castles on top and they're like battling. <laughs> and here's like a desert and they're like um, buildings, but they're like candles and they're melting away. And then it's like the dripping on the bottom, which is like sand. Or you could use it as wax from the candle melting. This one's a little crazy. It's got a lot going on, a lot to take in, but there's like trees on the bottom growing. And then there's like a robotic hand here. I don't know if you can see all the little gears and everything hanging onto this box. And he opens it up and there's like this whole magic world inside of it. Like there's outer space. Um, there's like a dragon it looks like flying around and it's got all these random things inside. And you can see all these, um, is it a leaves on the trees? They're like gears on the trees. Whoa, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot to take in, but once you focus, you know, you can start seeing a lot of the details. This one is gorgeous. I love this one. It's like an old clock and it's got like its own little village here, you know, and it's got the trees and the birds flying off and the leaves. I can see this one turning out really gorgeous. It even has grapes. Really pretty. And then, um... This one looks like a lion, and his mane is trees growing off from it. What? And there's even like a little, you know, animals living in there. There's a tiger, there's a deer, um, there's a fox there, there's an owl flying, there's a monkey. Looks like a little squirrel there. Another bird flying there. And there's like a waterfall dripping off its chin. So there's a whole world growing off from him. And here's some like marine iguanas. And they got pyramids on their backs because they do have little, you know, these little spikes and instead there are pyramids growing off of them. And they got some sea creatures underneath here too, like fishes, different type of fishies. Really cool. And then what do they call these? These Russian dolls. They got biggest to smallest and inside there's like a whole nother world or buildings. And then this was like an eagle, and then this whole robotic thing going on. I don't really understand it, but it's got that whole space, you know, thing going on. Although I really like this one with the flamingos. Although I think it's kind of funny, there's a pterodactyl flying there. But um, there's underwater, and it's got these little mermaids and whales and everything living in the water. It's so cool. But kind of looks like the legs of the flamingos are part of the buildings. Like they grow off from that. If you look at the legs. I didn't notice that till now. It's like little water bugs. Oh, that's why there was a pterodactyl because that was the next one. Um, yep, these are pterodactyls and their wings have like outer space. Well, and everybody, pterodactyls are kind of cool. They are cool. But T-Rexes are better. <laughs> and then this is a cheetah with all those um, lidded lanterns. You know, you light them up and let them go. That's really cool. And there's all the people letting go of all the lidded uh, lanterns. And then... Um, this is like a bird cage, but there's all fairy. It's like a fairy theme, and um, it's like it's some in somebody's house. You know, we got like plants hanging, but you got these little like pexies or fairies, and um, they're letting the unicorns out of the cage. And there's like a rainbow bursting now, and, and then there's two rams hitting each other. And you can see the mountains growing off their back, which is really cool. And it's like the clouds and everything is like whooshing off because they're like 
bud uh, like head butting each other so it's really cool and then here are some shoes and they're they got trees growing out of them they, they look like built like stores <laughs> and even has a little bike it's really cool makes me think of the mother goose you know how sh the shoe and then this is the last one which has a lot going on it's got a little bit of everything you know it's got like the egyptian symbols in here and then there's like um, a tree here and it's got those gears again growing off it's got a unicorn here and it's like an armor and then there's like a castle here and there's wa surrounded by water there's dragons going on here there's that like space thing going on here so a little bit of everything in here and then because of this being the last picture it has the um next hidden there's still a hidden object in here but it's what's on the first page like the first page was the stegosaurus so in here you got to find the hidden stegosaurus and then this will show all the answers to all the keys but even in that it's so beautiful to color the whole woodland theme and there's a mushroom with a little um town building off from it and then this shows where all the hidden um keys are to show what the next page will be about but yes I love I love how he changed into this one and then this is the newest one that he has it has it's called fragile world and I am in love with this one um, this video is getting long it's um, so I'm going to cut right here and do a part two to show this one which is the one I wanted to show you so bad so stay tuned <laughs> Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss out on it. Talk to you later. Bye.